Welcome back. I'm the glasses guy here with all your tips and tricks for sunglasses and eyeglasses. Today we're going to talk about nose pads. These pesky little guys that sometimes can get out of adjustment and can make red marks on your nose at times if they're sitting too close. If the frame is sitting too close because of the nose pads, you can actually get some uh, dirt and oils and grease on the lens. So that can be frustrating. Or if they're sitting too far out, it looks kind of odd. The other thing that nose pads can do is if they're, uh, they can be sitting, they can cause your frame to sit too high on your face or too low. And we're gonna show you how to make all those adjustments today. So obviously there are tools that are specific to opticians where you can move nose pads with uh, nose pad pliers and they're specifically tuned for that, but I know that most of you don't have those. I'm probably not gonna buy those. You can use your needle nose pliers as well in your toolbox at home, but once again, it can be a danger in scratching the lens. And if you're not used to using them, sometimes too much torque can be a bad thing and you can actually break those nose pads more easily. So I'm recommending to use your fingers. Um, be careful with the adjustment. Obviously you can break nose pads, but I think uh, having the feel of it in your hand can actually help uh, not to break them. Um, so just be aware of that. So the first adjustment I want to show you is how to lower the frame on your face. The way you're going to do that is you're actually going to spread these nose pads apart. I'll show you from this angle as well. So you're actually going to spread them apart, carefully adjusting, kind of controlling that push. You can see there. And then that's actually gonna lower the frame and make it sit lower because I've widened those nose pads. It actually sits lower on my face. The opposite can be true as well. If you wanna push those together, bring them together a little bit more, then you're gonna actually raise that frame on your face. You can see it sitting higher, but maybe your frame is also sitting too close to your face. So how do you make that adjustment and push it away from the frame? If you can see what I'm doing here, you can actually pull it away. And there's these arms that are holding that nose pad on there. Same thing on the other side, you wanna make even distribution, you're pulling it away. And this is gonna set the frame away from your face a little bit further, so you have some distance, so it's not sitting so close when you put the frame on. That's another adjustment you can make, or maybe the frame is just sitting too far out, so you actually wanna bring those nose pads in. It's a simple, pressure on that nose pad. Once again, being careful, you don't wanna break any um, nose pads. Be careful of that. Um, and especially with older frames, I would say be especially careful because that can have some wear on it and can break over time. So there we're sitting back kind of where we were sitting before comfortably, but you can have that movement with the nose pads. That's one of the advantages to nose pads is you actually can have quite a bit of control of where it sits. The one thing I want you to be aware of, and this is a, co a common concern for people with get the red marks on their bridge of their nose, is the nose pad isn't sitting evenly on your bridge. So let me kind of show you what that would look like on my bridge in an exaggerated way. So you can see I'm not getting full contact and it's not comfortably sitting on my bridge. So I'm gonna get red marks digging in on one side or the other. And you can see that bottom is actually touching before the top is. So I'm actually just gonna move move the bottom of that bridge away from the middle. So kind of moving it out and then the top goes in naturally and we'll see if that contours to, to my bridge a little bit better. Hopefully you can see there through the lens and I might go a little bit more. It looks like that top is still not quite touching. So I'm adjusting that just down and it is able to contour. So the goal is evenly distributed on the bridge and then you won't have those spots that are digging in. So it's the angle like this, but then it's also this angle as well. So let's go ahead and look at the other side. Once again, I'm also getting just too much, um, too close on the bottom. So I'm actually gonna bring the bottom uh, towards the lens more and move the other side, uh, the top towards the middle and then try that on. So I'm getting evenly distributed nose pads now, so I'm not getting that red mark or that digging in. And once again, you can feel it as well. So that's a major thing is like feeling it on, 
but then you basically want those nose pads to be touching evenly on all sides. So it's just comfortably sitting on your nose pad. Obviously all of our bridges are a little bit different shape and size. And so adjusting those nose pads uh, is an advantage to be able to make it comfortable throughout the day. If they're sitting too far apart, as we mentioned before, they can actually kind of come down and touch your cheek a little bit if you ever experienced that. And so that adjustment, like we said, you can just bring those nose pads in a little bit. It's gonna help that frame sit up a little bit so you're not hitting the cheeks of on your face. And obviously that's frustrating because when you smile, it can like move them up and down. And so that's once again, a nose pad adjustment. You can bring those nose pads in just a little bit and get it off your cheek so that you're more comfortable wearing that pair of glasses. Something to be aware of when it comes to changing the position of the frame on your face is especially with progressive lens wearers, that can change where you're looking out of the lens. And so um, it can change really your prescription by moving that up or down, you're changing where you're seeing out of that lens and it can actually change the power of your prescription. Single vision wearers, it can also change your experience but not quite as drastically as a progressive wear. So just something to be aware of as you're moving around those nose pads. And once again, that is the up and down movement that's gonna change that. So if you're bringing it in, it's moving it up on your face, which is changing where you're looking out of that lens. And then once again, if you're moving it uh, spreading them, it's actually going to cause it to sit lower, which can also change the height of where you're looking out of that lens. So something to be aware of, especially as a progressive wear. Hopefully this has helped today. Uh, like the video, share it with a friend, subscribe if you want more tips on sunglasses and eyeglasses. Once again, I'm the glasses guy. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your day.